guys, my name's Sean. Basically in today's video, we're gonna be going out and pick up a brand new trailer for my channel. Um, as you guys know, you guys have probably seen in my other videos, um, I have a bunch of cars, so I like to tow my, my cars around, but I use U-Haul trailers, and it's like 80 to 100 bucks a day uh, for 24 hours, and then typically sometimes I go two days, so it's like 200 bucks, and over time, it's, just, it's a waste of money. So basically, with a, when you have a bunch of cars like this, um, especially when the RX-7 that we're gonna have to bring to the shop and get started for the first time, uh, I'm gonna be using a trailer a lot. So to, I found a really good deal on a trailer. My, my buddy is actually gonna be selling me for super cheap, um, and it's a very expensive trailer. So it just needs a little bit of work, but uh, besides that, it's like perfect. It's gonna be exactly what we need. So today's video, let's go ahead and uh, hop in the truck, go get the trailer, come back. I'll show you guys what it looks like, see what kind of like uh, repairs it needs, and see if you guys think it's worth me either fixing or uh, just maybe you know, sell it and go get another one. But I seriously think from the pictures, this one is gonna be pretty good. So let's go ahead, like I said, hop in the truck and let's go get it. Alright guys, so I just got the trailer. It's uh, it's currently hooked up, but basically I'm just gonna fill up on gas, take you guys home, and then show you guys exactly uh, what it looks like. Cause it's pretty sick. guys so this is it this is my new trailer it is a big text trailer as you guys can see the brand um, it's got all the bells and whistles this is like a top of the line trailer um, I think it was like thirty four hundred dollars brand new my buddy said when he bought it like I think a year and a half ago um, so the reason why he sell it he sold it to me was because he uses he's like a pressure washer um, and he had a chemical business as you guys can see like the big tank sits in the middle and some of the chemicals the chlorine would spill off and it would hit that rail over there um, as you guys can see this rail over here is perfectly fine but the rail on the back side um, has some like rust and stuff and it like ate it through. I'll show you guys when I get over there. But basically this is a big text trailer. Um, it's dual axles as you guys can see. It has um, two axles underneath and four wheels. So it, it, it can hold a ton of weight. I can put a truck on here. Um, I think it's like 20 feet long. So it's a lot longer than uh, standard trailers are. So it's a, I think three feet longer than a normal car hauler. So it's perfect. I can literally haul trucks. Um, like any almost anything so it gives us plenty of room if we ever want to like have like a, a drift car Maybe the Genesis one day and put it on here We can have a bunch of extra tires in the front um, like a winch on the top and Toolboxes and like I mean, basically everything has plenty of room What's cool about this trailer also is that it has a bunch of like easy use um, Like accessories so basically the adapter basically to go on your trailer hitch you just pull this little pin out right here the pin comes out and then this collar just comes back where you just pull, slide it off and then this pops off and you comes right off the ball so there's no like having those you know those old school style ones where you put the ball on and you have to like slam that thing down and then put the pin through so this one's just a lot easier um and the like the the, the crank hitch i guess whatever you want to call it so instead of having to crank this thing all the way down to get it to go to the ground it takes a long time to crank so but for this it has like a quick detach system if you guys can see so I just pull that pin out, drop it all the way to the floor, and then I can um, put the pin back in and then start cranking. So I don't have to crank like three or four times and then it gets it off the ball. So it's super fast, way easier than any other trailer I've ever had. And I'm pretty happy about that, but it has like little ramps to get the car up on, on the trailer. Um, just a bunch of like little, little cool things, some stabilizers up front. 
if you want to like take it off and keep the trailer level while it's not on the truck. So this is a ton of features that you're not going to get on like a standard like thousand dollar used trailer. Um, this is like, like I said, a top of the line one it has all the bells and whistles, but it does have some issues that we have to fix. So bringing you guys around, I'll show you. It does have like big tires. These aren't like small tires. These are like the, all, the oversized heavy duty tires. It has a ladder rack, like we can put a ladder in there or something. But for the most part, it's pretty generic. It has a little bit of like surface rust. You guys can see right here going along. It's not a big deal. I can just sand that down and then repaint it. The only things I'm, I'm worried about is the stuff where it, it ate through. So this board has to be replaced right here. Probably, I'll probably cut it or just replace two of those. But this is the worst part. So this is where the chemicals would like kind of spill off. And it was hitting this the whole time. So it ate through the metal here. And I'm probably going to have to look along this rail and just cut it wherever the metal is the safest. Like where it's been like eaten through. Just cut it, put a new uh, rail in there, sand the whole thing down and then paint it. But yeah guys this trailer is pretty sick the only other things that i want to show you is like the issues that we have to fix so the main concern for this trailer is underneath here if you guys can see this is the leaf spring it's not even connected to the top anymore so the trailer is like it only has like one shock on this side and it bounces like crazy i don't know if you guys can really see that but the whole it has like no suspension on this right side the front one is connected, but this one is not. It, it somehow snapped off. I don't think the rust did it. I literally think it just broke because the rust didn't like eat through completely. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We have to fix that. Fix a couple of little pieces of like sheet metal on the back. Right here, how it's a little, this, I don't know, it's kind of bad. It's kind of hard to see. I don't want to drag this out any further. We got a new trailer. But basically I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing, uh, completely pressure wash it, clean it up, and then yeah, I don't know. I'll show you guys what it looks like after because it'll, it'll be in uh, definitely better condition. Let's get into pressure washing. Alright guys, so I don't know if you can hear me, all right, but I'm gonna show you guys before I get the rest of this off. Dude, look at the wood. This right here is like all wood. It's basically like flaking. This is like super soft. It feels like like fur or something. It's weird. The wood's like deteriorating, so I have to like keep pressure washing on this to like blast that top layer off completely. It's gonna take a while. I might need to scrub it or something, but besides that, dude, it's coming out pretty good. You guys see the color difference from like over there. It's like super dark and black. And then over here, it's looking like wood again. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep blasting at this, try and get the rest of it done, and then uh, <laughs> I'll pick up the camera when I'm done. All right, guys. So I just had to take a shower. Um, while I was all dirty before, but I'm gonna take you around the trailer and just show you the difference. So. It's honestly, it came out really good. As you guys saw before, it was super like dark and black and covered in dirt. So I got that completely pressure washed. I don't really know what else I'm gonna do. Uh, to, not, not, nothing today, but basically like the rust and everything, after, we're gonna sand down and we'll choose like what color if we wanna like redo it or do like a bed liner or something like that on it. And then um, we're gonna have to reweld the suspension and whatnot. So I'll take you guys along for the ride when that comes. That's basically just, I wanted to show you guys the trailer, like me picking it up uh, today. And then basically just, you know, keeping you guys along and letting you guys see the videos and like all the little behind the scene things. And we're gonna actually be using this trailer for a lot of stuff. So it's gonna be pretty cool in the future. But yeah guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We have a lot of stuff coming. You know, we're building an RX-8, uh, RX-7, two Genesis coupes, uh, my truck, and a couple other projects that are gonna be coming in 2021. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a pretty cool year. But yeah guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Who's that on the other end of the phone? Didn't hear nothing when I said my hello. Oh well, to hell down we go. So high looking at heaven below. You know me though, from coast to coast, we're smoking dope. Overdose with the Holy Ghost, but hold the phones, I hold my own. It's local grown, been killing this shit since road the boat. You know I'm supposed to hold the throne, be honest. One more drink, I'ma be an alcoholic. I don't wanna think like better run conscious. Stay fresh, yeah. everything's so toxic. I open coffin doors with a 38 when it's time for war. Told my mommy.